Or you might be asking yourself. Uh, by the way, it's July 12, 2015. You might be asking yourself, how did the tribulation come about? How in the world? I mean, I know things are getting bad. They seem worse than they've ever been. How did this happen? There's parties involved at the tippy top of the economic structure. I'm talking about the tippy top. And they want to manipulate people in certain ways that are extremely destructive, suicidal, and they're molding people to accept things through all sorts of different mediums, television, public schooling, uh, just popular culture in general. Um, and I'm going to get into this into further detail. There's certain aspects that they like to go through. And one is uh, they want to destroy the family. Um, and how they're planning to do it is, first of all, they want to remove fathers from their children's lives. They're successfully doing it in many, many ways already. And also, they want to confuse children. All right? They, they want children. And the more that you confuse them, the more easily they can be manipulated. Follow me. Um, if you confuse a child so as to not have any clue if they are a boy or a girl, well, then pretty soon you can confuse a child into not knowing a damn thing about anything. They will not know what is up or down. They will not know what is right or wrong. Um, and so on and so forth. Here's a perfect example. And I know it's going to sound crazy. That's why I'm going to leave links so that you can go ahead and check it out yourself. I know everything I'm going to say is sounding crazy. It's supposed to sound crazy. It's not going to make sense. All right. But this is actually old news that I'm bringing to you right now. Uh, the National Review at nationalreview.com went ahead and talked about it last year, October. Actually, I mean, it wasn't too long ago, about a little over half a year ago, October 8th. 2014, they described how middle schools in Nebraska um, were instructed that they were no longer um, supposed to refer to children as being boys or girls. The reason for this is this is not going to be inclusive enough. Yes, I understand that all the children going to the schools are boys or girls. Yes. But what they were trying to imply through pamphlets and things um, and textbooks from weird ass, just, I don't know who, who developed these groups, but they were developed and they were implemented and they were given instruction. Uh, it was not inclusive to call, to say, hey, boys and girls, gather around. That's just, that's hateful what you just said. They said, stop being hateful. You're not being inclusive to the little boys and girls who have no idea if they're boys or girls. The transgenders and the uh, the asexuals or whatever you want to call them. I understand that they're little children. And they should not even be thinking on this level yet. I mean, they should just know if they're boys or girls. Uh, and by the way, while I was doing this research, I, I happened upon a word that I didn't know existed. You want to hear about a word that you never knew existed? It's called cisgender. You might be asking yourself, what in the world is cisgender? The definition of cisgender is being comfortable. It's an adjective for being comfortable with the gender that you are. I.e., if you're a girl, you're all right with being a girl. Or if you're a boy, yeah, you're cool with being a boy. That The adjective for that is cisgender. This is a word that is brand new, obviously. Should have never been invented. It makes no sense that we would even need this word, but it is a word. You can look it up. It's in all sorts of dictionaries. But anyways, uh, yeah, this these middle schools in Nebraska were instructed to, because it's not inclusive when you call boys and girls, boys and girls, you're going to leave people out. 
they were uh, instructed to call the children purple penguins. Yes, purple penguins. I wish I had the imagination to make this up. I do not. As imaginative as I think I am, I would never be able to make this stuff up. Alright, so they were calling little kids purple penguins. Now, believe it or not, I mean, I'm going to have to just break an egg of knowledge or logic or just common sense on you. None of these children, believe it or not, were actually purple penguins. I don't even think purple penguins exist on Earth, maybe. They might be. I never heard of them. But I'm going to guarantee you, none of these children were anywhere close to purple penguins. So how in the world is that inclusive to any of them? If I was in middle school and you called me a purple penguin, whether you were my teacher or not, guess what? I'm ignoring you. I'm not ever going to answer your questions. Why? Because I'm not a penguin for one. I'm also not a fantastical purple penguin. That's just disrespectful. Alright? How is that not going to confuse the shit out of people, especially little children, when you're calling them purple penguins all day? I mean, needless to say, only a month later after parents were just disgusted by the idea of, pe of people who are getting paid um, money to teach children important things, they were disgusted by the idea that these people were being instructed to call their children purple penguins. They did not give birth to purple penguins. And after about a month, this whole thing was, was dropped. Now, before this happened, their superintendent of the of these middle schools, uh, a, a guy by the name, I believe, Stephen Joel, he was pleased as punch to be calling these children purple penguins. He thought it was a wonderful idea. A month later, no, nah, it's not wonderful no more. He, he was seeing more clearly that it was a retarded idea, that he himself was being retarded. And therefore, it was dropped. Now, I mean, as funny as this is, it's a perfect example of how, from the tippity top, they're trying to confuse the shit out of little children. I wish I was making this up. This is July 12, 2015. We're going to keep this going.